Hey everybody, it's time to do some procedural modeling and animation with Maya. First thing I'm going to do is make a gear. So to do that, I will go to Create Poly Primitives Cylinder. Scale that, pull that right here. Make sure it's positive. Now I want to pick the faces. I'll hit F11. I want to pick every other face. All right, work in there. Oops, undo that. Okay. All right, now go to Edit Mesh Extrude. We'll pull this out a bit and hit F8, and now we have our gear. Let me rename this thing as G1 for gear. Now what I want to do is rotate this. What I have here is the script editor and if you want to be able to reach that click here and go to panels and go to layouts or save layouts or in this case go to the script editor or are you and you can find it down there so that's what I've done here. Now I want to rotate this so what I'm going to try out is make an expression. Let me go to Window and Animation Editor's Expression Editor. Pull this open. Now I'm going to go say G1.RY. That means G1 rotate Y. Plus equals frame. That means it'll keep adding the frame. Let me adjust these. Alright, so that's the frame. And in this case, let me take out the plus. G1 is equal to frame here. Let me edit that. And so that is moving. So that's what this looks like here. That's the expression editor. Now, what else we want to try is make another gear. I'll duplicate that and I'll move that over to here and what I want to do is make this gear rotate based on this gear here Oops. and so let's go back to window animation editors expression editor and I'm gonna say g2 dot ry is equal to g1 dot ry and we'll put a negative in there. Okay. Let's try that out. Now I hit play and you see the gears are rotating. That's pretty nice. Now the next step is I would like to make an attribute so I can control this with a keyframe. So G1, I want to modify add attribute. And I'm going to call this thing wheel or gear speed. Oops. Uh, lowercase gear, capital S, P E E there. That will be a floating point number. And I'll hit OK. Notice how that shows up down here. This is in long format. So let me go back to the expression editor window animation editor expression and I want to go back to these expressions here let me remove let me put this one here alright gear Y is equal to G1 dot gear speed now if I edit that, I play it, but nothing will happen because gear speed is on zero. Let me put gear speed on 10, and this still won't move anywhere because we need to add the plus equal. So we'll make this gear rotate y plus equal. Now I edit this, rewind it. Let me make the gear speed a little bit slower. 
Okay, so now you see it's rotating. And here, if I turn the gear to zero, or 0.5, I am rotating the gear. Now this is based on G1 rotate Y plus equals G1 dot gear speed. So you see how this thing works here. And we can keyframe this. Let me rewind it for frame one. Put that on zero and then go to key selected. Let me go over to here key selected and let me move this and make this thing about a five and go to key selected and it'll start out and then it'll start moving now it's time to add a little bit of a GUI for this so we can have a slider that will control gear speed now first thing we're gonna do is make a window dash T for title make it gear speed alright and then I'll type in show window and let's try this out right now actually let me name this thing and I'll call it my window then here show window my window let me try this out control enter to run it and that will keep the text in the editor. So right now we've got this one is empty. That's good. Column layout. You need some type of layout to run this. And next thing I'm going to make, this is a long phrase, but I'll say adder field slider group. And in this case I'll make a minimum minimum and max I'll make it 10 and max is 10 and then I will do a dash AT for the attribute and I'll make this thing G1 dot gear speed put a semicolon there you can actually split this thing up by hitting the enter this way Mel is not white space sensitive is just sensitive based on the semicolon let's try this out it may ask me to delete the window okay that works there's our gear speed there's our slider and that is looking pretty good and actually I'm not seeing the slider here that seems to have disappeared alright figured out that problem turns out that you need a min and max and I had the min at 10 and max at 10 but minimum of negative 10 and max at 10 will make this slider so do control enter now we have gear speed and you could key this attribute by hitting the right mouse button going to set key and you could also slow it down All right, put it at 0 and key that. Pull this thing back at zero. Set the key. Oops. Set the key there. And pull this thing back up, and we'll have it negative two or three. And I'll key that here. So let's try it out. Forward. Did not go backward, but let me put the key this here. Negative three and set key. Let's try that again. Forward. Backward. Alright, so we have a mini GUI here using adder field slider group dash AT, that's attribute, G1 gear speed, minimum, maximum. We show the window, use column layout, and we make our window here so that is your mini GUI and that will control the speed of these gears now you can also break the connection then if I hit play you can slide this different directions pretty fun so that is the lecture on making gears talk to you in